guys! So a few weeks ago now, I uploaded a video that was titled Recreating a photo of my historical twin where I recreated a photo of this young girl that I came across on Pinterest that I felt like looked exactly like me when I was young. And you guys seemed to really, really enjoy that video and I really enjoyed making it. Now, of course, people started speculating about who the girl might have been. Very many people seem to think that it is a photo of Marie Doro, Mary, Marie, who was a stage actress and a very early silent film actress in the early 20th century. I am personally not convinced that it is a photo of her. I uh, know Marie Doro, she has been on my to-do list for Beauty Beacons episodes for a while now. I feel like Marie would have been older at that time, but then again, I'm not knowledgeable enough about like um, photography techniques and things like that to use that as a pointer as to how old that photo might have been. Mainly it's because it might be an early photo of Marie Doro, not entirely sure, but I have gotten loads of requests for people to do a recreation of one of Marie Doro's photos anyway. I do think her facial structure is such that I might be able to recreate a photo of her pretty well. I just enjoy this challenge, so I'm just gonna do it. I have picked out a photo that I think I might be able to recreate. So this is the photo that I'm gonna be recreating today. Fingers crossed. I think I'm gonna start with the hair and then while my curls are setting I'm gonna do my makeup, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna be using a small curling iron today and just curl all of my hair. And by the way, I didn't want to mention, I am going to show you a little bit more of how I edit the photo today. Because last time I showed you briefly, but I feel like many people found that quite interesting. Like how I achieved that vintage look in the final photograph. So even though I am not a editing professional whatsoever, and honestly I just use a free online editing tool. I am just gonna show you in a little bit more detail, because I, I do personally think that that is one of the more fun steps in this process. For now, I'm just gonna curl my hair first, all of it, and it's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna put on some music and enjoy the process. <laughs> All right, it is time to do the makeup and I feel like I'm gonna need very minimal makeup for this. Pretty much just a little bit of concealer and eyebrows and I think that is all. I think I'm gonna need to do the nostrils as well. Anyway, let's start with concealer. She does definitely have a bit of a shadow underneath her eyes. I feel like her eyes are quite bulgy. <laughs> is there a positive word to use for that? But yeah. Um, so I'm gonna have to kind of fake that, I think, but mostly I'm gonna have to make my lips smaller because she definitely has the early 20th century thin lips. And it doesn't look in this photo like she's wearing any lipstick, actually. So I'm gonna use a lip pencil to kind of distinguish between my lips and skin <laughs> but I'm using a nude because I don't think this was an era where red lipstick was popular let's do eyebrows next luckily she has rather strong brows so I don't have to remove mine <laughs> slanted inwards and then they definitely come down a lot on the outside and I think the rest of the shape is actually quite similar to my eyebrow shapes. I'm gonna take a brown eyeshadow color here and just kind of darken the area around my eyes a little bit. I don't want it to look too much like eyeshadow, but especially a little bit of shadow underneath my eyes is going to help me with that bulginess. <laughs> and the area around her eyes is pretty dark. Under the eyes and going all the way in. But I do think that a look like this with an eyebrow that's practically, honestly, just a line drawn all the way through on both sides and the dark makeup around the eyes is quite in accordance with the stage makeup of the time. So she might actually have been wearing, and in some photos she clearly is wearing her makeup like this. And it's not just all natural. Now I have a light colored eyeliner pencil here, which I'm going to use mainly on my tear duct because this is something 
that I feel is kind of a signature thing on her, of hers. Nearly every photo of her that I open, she has very clear highlights in the inner corners of her eyes, regardless of the lighting. So I'm pretty sure they are drawn on. I think that's it for the makeup. Now for just a few more things to kind of um, look like her a bit more. Oh, of course, I need to get rid of the birthmark. And I'm gonna work on the nostrils anyway, just because, you know, for fun. <laughs> so I also have a black color in this palette. And I'm gonna make my nostrils a little bit higher. Mine are pretty similar to hers in shape, but hers are just a touch longer. I feel like this needs to be quite subtle, but you can definitely tell a difference. I think we're pretty much there. Uh, when it comes to makeup, so hair. I'm a little bit terrified. I hope I'm able to do this. I feel like this is quite a challenge, much more than the last time I tried to recreate a photo like this. Let's start by taking down my curls, and then I'm gonna need to create some major frizz. Stop for a minute and acknowledge how amazing this look is. <laughs> I love this, guys. It's giving me major Helena Bonham Carter vibes. I love it. I think this is about as close as I'm gonna get. I'm also now questioning my decision to do the hair first and then pick out an outfit because it looks like she's wearing a turtleneck. I'm gonna have a rummage through my wardrobe and see what we can find. I am totally cheating now. I found this blouse, which has some ties in the front, which I definitely need. And for my turtleneck, <laughs> it's just a scarf that I've kind of stuck into the blouse from the back. I feel like in photography, you can get away with quite a lot, as long as I try, you know, get it from the right angles so you can't see it. Now I just need to roll up the sleeves and find something, hopefully, that resembles a pin that I can put right here because she's wearing like this round pin. Okay, this is the worst, but I attached a ring with a safety pin. <laughs> I'm afraid this is the best I can do. It's time to just go ahead and try to take the photo. Now, unfortunately, I don't have Robert here to take the photo for me this time, so I'm gonna have to do it all by myself using a timer and a remote and things like that. So let's set up. This is infinitely harder to do when you don't have someone to take the photos for you. Plus, I also can't see what I'm doing because I can't wear my glasses. So I think I'm gonna tether the camera to my surface so that I at least have like a large image <laughs> of what I'm trying to do. Maybe that way I can compare um, angles and everything. time to do the edits. So I'm first gonna try and determine which photo matches the best. Oh, I feel like this one's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is the one. Okay, so I'm gonna open up iPicky here. Now, as I mentioned, this is a free online editor, so you can all, you know, 
do this yourselves as well. Not sponsored, I just this is just what I use. <laughs> All right, so first thing I want to do is um, get some more light on my face. Because I definitely didn't have enough light on me. Now we're gonna get into all the filters and everything later, but I want to start with the basics first. I'm gonna have to get rid of this <laughs> remote control here, so let's see how can I do that. Will the blemish fixer work or not? That's the question. Nope, definitely not. Wrinkle remover, how about that? Yeah, that's not better at all. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like this, I think. I'm gonna have to find the right tone for it. Oh I forgot one thing. Take care of this little line right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the vintage filters here and see which one helps get that look the most. Oh, I feel like this one's pretty good actually, but I'm just gonna try them all and... No, not that one. Alright, so maybe a combination of this one and that one. So I'm just gonna go into my face and fix some things like I tried removing that birthmark to no avail <laughs> I'm gonna try and get rid of this line that I have right here at least make it less noticeable as with this So I feel like I need to bring back a little bit more darkness around the eye area. So this is my final result guys. I don't think I did as good of a job as I did last time and I think mainly that's because I didn't have someone with me to give directions. But overall I'm pretty happy with the result. I think it looks really cool. It was a lot of fun to do to recreate a photo of Marie Doros. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video right here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!